Welcome back, we're now in the VIP part of the Shinra building. And yeah, to progress we need to talk to this guy. Not particularly difficult this time. Good thing he's so trustworthy. Well, he's so trusting even. Cloud, such a pervert. This is a good explanation of how we need to progress, by the way. It's kind of like a series of puzzles now in order to get to the top floor of the Shinra building. Where we need to gonna, we're going to need to go to several floors and solve a puzzle there to get to the next one. A couple of them are optional, but we're going to do them all. We're just awesome. If you're wondering why everyone isn't panicking and running away from you, etc., remember that uh, not only did we sneak in peacefully, but Cloud is actually wearing a soldier uniform, which is Shinra's military division, so yeah. And this is the mayor of Midgar, he is completely crazy. He has an annoying puzzle for us. Okay, so his puzzle basically, I'll sum it up for you, is in each of these rooms is a file that's out of place. This is the urban development room, so we'll look at the numbers of each file. The number corresponds to which letter is in his favourite word. There we go. 1, so that's B. This one is all about the science division, so we need to look for something unrelated to science. The Genova project back there is, yeah, quite significant. But that's the one we're looking for. So it's an O there then. So we know it's got a, a B and an O. So let's go and have a look at his words and see which one has B and O in it. So that will be a uh, bomb, I'm guessing. Yeah, bomb. Yep, he's completely mad. But still, first puzzle solved. It may seem very easy there, but uh, in order to get clues as to what his favourite word could possibly be, you need to pay his assistant outside stupid amounts of money. Fortunately, I already knew before stepping in, so we didn't have to do that. Still, we've got the keycard 65 now, but we're going to go to uh, the floor above where we are now, which is, I'm not sure, well... Not 62, 63. Whoops, sorry about that. Yeah, I could have gone to the two other sections to look for the files gone, but let's face it, it wasn't necessary. 63 then. On the uh, optional floors, there's some bonus items. This one, there's loads and loads of doors, and you can only open three doors. But And there's also three items to be had. You have to work out how you get all three items. Only opening three doors. Well, that's a bit of a clue at the end there. When I first played this, it took me forever to work it out. But yeah, it does give us a massive clue. Oh yeah, that's the first item. And then we can sneak around in the vents. This is how you do it. it can't actually do it physically by opening just three doors. You have to climb in the vent, otherwise you won't have enough doors to get all the items. Now having said that, a couple of the items are a bit useless anyway, really. I just do it because I'm a massive completionist, I suppose. <laughs> there we go, a bit of a struggle to get up that vent there. Cool, that's the next one. And now we can open a door here with our last door and get the final one. Good times. Cool, and out we are. Now we hand in all three of our coupons and we get some items, which are... 
another all materia, four slots, which is some armor, and a uh, star pendant, which protects you from poison. Yay. The all materia, especially, I'm quite pleased by there. Just gonna throw it with our restore. Cool. Now Barrett can heal everyone in one turn, which is quite useful. To the next floor. This one doesn't actually have a puzzle in it, but there is, if you go to the back, a load of lockers which you can steal stuff from. You also might have seen there are some uh, beds back there, and you can go in there and sleep and get uh, full HP from resting as well, which is quite cool. Anyway, that's that done. There is also another little thing here which you can do. It doesn't pay off for quite a while though. Let's go in here where the gym is and use these vending machines. And it doesn't work. Whoops. Looks like we upset the receptionist there. But anyway, that actually uh, unlocks something later on, as odd as that sounds. Not for a very, very long time though, so let's just forget about that for now. To the next floor, 65. This one is actually quite boring, so I'm going to speed up most of it, but uh, what you need to do is, there's loads of crates everywhere, and in one of them, will be, well, well, one of them, sorry, will be randomly unlocked, and it has an item in it called, I can't remember, oh, here we go, Midgar parts, there we go, and you can see there's a giant, oh, random battle, there's a giant random battle, let's speed that one up then. I don't know what that thing actually is. Anyway, yeah, there's a giant uh, model of Midgar here, as you can see, and it has lots of pieces missing. What we need to do is go to a crate, find one that's open, get the parts, put the parts in the model. Like that. And then it unlocks the next crate. It takes a fair amount of time to do it, so I'm just going to speed it up. Let's face it, it's not particularly exciting. Because, uh, yeah, it's just more of the same over and over again. No dialogue, just annoying random battles, and that's about it. Still, you may, uh, one thing you might want to bear in mind about it, though, is there's actually going to be one piece missing from the uh, Midgar model. And the reason for that is, uh, you can see there, one of the parts is less detailed than the rest. That's because that's Sector 7, which is, of course, now completely wrecked. Sorry, Sector 7. Oh, that means Tifa's bar's wrecked as well. I forgot about that. Oh, snap. Yeah, those mobs are annoying. They kind of do something those ghosts did earlier, if you remember, where they just disappear for a while. Anyway, we've now got the key card to the next floor. Let's do it. 66 this time. And now we're, we're pretty much through the puzzles now. You may have seen a lot of people go in there that uh, maybe you recognise some, maybe you don't. You can see Heidegger there right in the corner. Yep. I guess that's a little bit of a puzzle, just working out where to go there. But yeah, back into the vents we go. This really is like Metal Gear Solid now, isn't it? Cloud looks really odd just sitting in the vent. That's a lot of gel. Landing. Eh? 
Yeah, Palmer looks really, really dodgy jumping, doesn't he? He's also quite mad. How generically evil Heidegger is. And here we have another character. Yeah, you know we know Aris' mum's name. Huh, that's unfortunate. I'm surprised they're okay with the research taking so long. President Shinra doesn't strike me as the type who's uh, good with delaying gratification. Yeah, I guess it wasn't the best choice to put a uh, ventilation grate right above the toilet. Some contracts are really screwed up there. Sorry, for some reason pressing forward makes Cloud go backwards here. It's it's kind of weird. There we go. We really probably should have shut the uh, bathroom stall door there. Imagine if somebody walked in while we were climbing down. Would have been a bit hard to explain. And there's Hojo. And now always being blocked by this annoying woman. Get out the way! Stick to the side of the friggin' corridor. Ah. Oh. It's like being at college all over again. And so now we're entering the uh, Shinra Science Department. there before you, Barrett, sorry. So yeah, and then we're now going to follow Hoji. Though actually, though, this is coming to a, an end now, this video is... Yeah, it's getting fairly long, so... I hope to see you all in the next video where stuff will happen. Bye.